Hey guys, my computer is being kind of laggy, and it's not really bad right now, but it was, so I just closed out Word and some other programs I had up. Okay, first I did make a update video, but it's too long and I don't feel like editing it. So first thing you might notice that's different is my hair. I dyed it to like a red, dark red, like um, auburn color. The lighting might kind of trick you, but it's pretty much how you see it. And the photo might be better. Ooh, yeah. So then, in the other video, the only thing you missed that happened the other day, which is like just Saturday or so, this happened to my phone. It's a dark black line. It has like some green and other colors on it. And then if I went to flip my phone this way, it looks kind of like a like barcode that's like stretched out with that line what happened was there's no like crack on the screen or anything you don't feel it but it's on the inside like i guess there's like just too much pressure on the screen and everything kind of like made a little crack in the inside somehow i've had so the glad the only thing i'm relieved about this is i've had this phone for almost a year i'm like a year shy like one month shy from it being a year i had it like last like november early december last year so it's not like i just got the phone i would have been pretty pissed but i've had this for a while and i call it virgin mobile this is a lg rumor touch it's almost like a prototype of a smartphone not really a smartphone and they're sending me out a new one for free under my warranty. I'm going to get it in like two or three days. So thank God for that. And I can still see text messages and everything. It's just kind of hard to see. But it's legible. And during dodgeball like a couple weeks ago I got hit. Like, like the ball like full speed right to this side of my face to my left side. And it made my face pretty numb. I cried a little bit. Not like sobbing or anything, it's just my eyes like would not stop watering. Ugh, it's really embarrassing. And yeah, that's all you really missed. Me getting injured, partially, but I feel, but I got healed and everything on the phone. And the phone and, and yeah. But I got some other products, and if my mouth isn't working with my like matching up with my words and it's because my computer is being stupid. I have these little eyeshadows from Hot Topic I got from there on clearance. I have all these sparkly, they're not really pigments kind of. Well I guess they kind of are but they're like in little orbs. And they're not going anywhere. You can drop them as many times as you want and nothing's going to happen. See, that's the blue. They're really, really nice. It's like a orange kind of gold. Pretty vibrant if you pack them on. And with eyeshadow primer, they're probably a lot better. There's the sparkly black. It's actually kind of these two aren't that bad on the lid, but the black one I don't really care for that much unless they want to like a wash to make like a light smoky eye. Because honestly they're not, that one isn't that good. But whatever. And then there's this one. Uh, wait, that's my elf one I already had. The other one I'm looking for is this one. It, I like the ones that look like this. It's like a little orb kind of shape, but it has numerous colors in them. And this one's also from Hot Topic. This is the silver that's on the top. It's pretty metallic. I like that a lot. That was the one on top. This is the one in the middle. And here's the dark black. I think I might have done 
this in swatch twice. So I'm making sure. <laughs> because the black, kind of like dark silver at the top, didn't look so dark. No, I know. I did swatch that. All right. So yeah, that's those. Then I have um, Elf's Dollar Line. Just the professional eyeliner brush. It's not really angled, just kind of... There. The bristles are kind of soft. Pretty soft. And I used it to put eyeliner along my lid. And then I went in with my e.l.f. quad and I darkened it. And I honestly cannot for the life of me really put on eyeliner well on the waterline. So I go right in and put eyeshadow on my waterline. I don't know if that's kind of weird to you, but that's what works for me. So I did that. And I go over it with my eyeliner so I darken it and set it. And this is the Elf Total Face Brush. Another one from the dollar line. I kept it in its packaging, but the angled eyeliner brush I didn't because I can put it in my makeup bag and it'll pretty much stay the same. It doesn't matter because I already got it dirty with black eyeliner. But this is what I saw reviews of that it's not a lot of people were kind of exaggerating you're like oh this brush is horrible I'm never buying this again blah 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 but for a dollar I mean it's not going to be like extravagant and amazing and have a great overall performance but the one thing I don't like about it is like all of the bristles there are like some uneven ones and it's really kind of odd to me. And I did go to like put a light powder on my face and I got a bristle right on my face that I just like gently wiped off with the brush. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really think I'm gonna use this for like anything like ever. <laughs> Unless I'm like desperate and I lose my other brush I always use. But yeah, I'm not saying this is horrible or anything. I'm saying for a dollar, this is what you're going to get. It's not going to be perfect, but yeah. It's better than nothing, but pretty much you'll need it when you don't have anything else. Because I don't really care for this brush at all, and I know a lot of other people didn't. And the texture isn't really that coarse, but it's not completely soft. It's kind of like scratchy, but kind of soft. So if you have like really, really, really soft brushes, People keep saying to go to their like elf studio line and get those brushes instead. So I suggest you do that if you don't like scratchy brushes because it's not completely soft. It can probably get a little annoying if you put that on your face that much. So yeah, that's all you really missed. And I'm probably going to do a makeup tutorial coming up. I have, this is kind of like my autumn eye look. I have like this... Is it? I used this brown and gold right here on those two on top. Kind of mix them together, put that on my lid. And I used my elf quad. I used the dark black, sparkly black right there. And for my waterline, and then I went over that with my eyeliner with the from the eyeliner with that eyeshadow to set it and everything. Okay, I'm running out of time. I don't have the 15 minutes and over thing on YouTube yet. And this is a newer channel, so I'm probably not gonna have her for a while. But yeah, I'm gonna go. New tutorials will be up soon. And I have no school tomorrow, so maybe I'll do something then. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. And comment, rate, subscribe, and add me as a friend.